So once again, the thumb can be whatever size you want. Uh, a bit heavy there, but carve around the back. And now we're going to start working on the, the palm and the inside of the fingers. So draw on uh, the general shape you want for a finger. And notice that there is scoops in the finger, that it scoops and scoops and scoops. And the reason for that is uh, in your finger there's those joints. See, you got this joint and you got this joint here and then you got this this other joint right here. So you get that one, that one, and that one. Every finger is the same. If you notice they all got those uh, bumps in them. So the idea is to create them and eventually the thumb will be freestanding. It will be strengthened because the grain in this particular case is going with the, the distance of the, plum, of the thumb. So I'm going to start by removing some more wood in behind in the fingers area. Make sure you leave the palm this meaty section back here. Okay. Just use a, a curved gouge, maybe a number five or seven to uh, start to remove some of that wood. But the idea is to thin it down where the fingers are. So there it is, hollowed out just in the finger area. You see that I've got that hollowed out all the way across. I'll pass this around. So there it is with the fingers hollowed out and uh, so I'll put my hand in there and you can see that I want to point out that the fingers the fingers have one two three divisions in it so you got the three knuckle joints where the thumb has only two one two and then after that is this big muscle in here this big meaty section in here so we have to uh, do two things. We have to create the, the thumb and try and get some separation in this general area here. And you can see by, by my thumb here, this thumb here is a little bit too heavy. So instead of taking it off the outside, which would be a normal tendency, I'm going to take it off the inside here and take some material out of here. Maybe change the direction of the thumb so that it comes more on that, on that angle. But by doing that, then it allows me to get better access between the thumb and the fingers. So I'm going to remove some of that there, and then I'm going to start forming the inside of the thumb. And the inside of the thumb, that's still a little bit heavy for the muscle there, so I'm going to thin that down and then create the next, next section. And so from that point there is where the, the muscle starts in here. So all of that combined, we're going to first do it by step by step. Clean out that piece on the side first, and then this piece in here, get the inside shape of the thumb coming. And again, that's just done with whatever tool is convenient for you. So you can see that I have uh, separated the, the thumb from the fingers now. I narrowed it down a little bit. Eventually I'll take a little bit more off of this side here. Uh, and then I have hard it down somewhat more on the inside to create the, the, the thumb part in here. And I've started to create the, I've started to create that second joint. Remember he's only got one joint here and a second joint here. So by establishing that location I've established the base of the thumb. So now I can start to create the, the meat part, that muscle that's in here. And you can see there's a lot of material there that has to be taken down. Because there's my hand, there's my hand there, and this meaty section in here has to be created. But it's a substantial muscle. The biggest muscle in your hand is uh, in the base of your thumb. So I'll just start. Uh, did you want me to pass this around? No? Okay. So. As you can see, I've taken down a, a fair bit of material in this area here, and I've taken that right across the palm of the hand, right across. So now I'm going to draw on what I consider where the, the muscle in the hand is. So you can see by, 
by my hand that the muscle is divide, divides it at the wrist about in half and then all this muscle is stays. So the muscle starts from the base of the thumb and comes up and around. So I'm going to draw on that, uh, what do they call that, a lifeline or isn't that what they call that? Anyway, so I'm going to draw that on. So I'm going to draw that on. Like that. And once that's established, then I can just take a V tool now and, and go in there and remove the wood to start to create that muscle. So don't be don't be shy about it. So instantly you've got that muscle started. It's flat and square at the present time, but that's the start of it. All right, don't be afraid to go fairly deep on that. It looks something like that. Now I'll just kind of round everything off. So there, there it is with the <coughs> base of the thumb muscle established. Um, it still might be a, a bit heavy, but at least you got the general shape going. Um, next we'll work on this side over here and if you notice on that, that side uh, of my hand that this is certainly the bigger muscle and then this over here is not much but there is a muscle that comes down the full size side of the far side of the thumb and then it's uh, hollowed in the center in here but first we'll go for our coffee break apple time so there it is with the muscle behind the thumb and now we got to get rid of this block over here if you take a look in the diagram you can see exactly what we just done on the thumb we've created the, the, the two joints and then the big muscle and again this thumb can be in whatever configuration you want um, but the, this is just a, a general course on how to do that so now we're going to remove the wood on this side here, so all of this big lump in here, we're going to start paring it down, but still retaining the division in the, uh, what I would call the lifeline there. <coughs> 